everyone, welcome to today's guitar tutorial. We're going to be doing the solo for Santeria by Sublime, a classic 90s rock song. Uh, really cool licks in this uh, solo, um, stuff that you can learn and add to your own playing. So it's really fun to play and it's cool to learn. I'm going to be putting some time stamping in the description below, so check it out. If you just want to learn the solo note for note, um, that's it, you can just do that in the first part of the solo and I'll just put that in the description. Um, but you can also stick around and learn what makes the solo great. Uh, some of the licks that might be difficult to play, I'll show you some ways to practice them. And I'll even show you some uh, modifications. If some of it's too fast, but you just kind of want to play it right now, then you can, in the meantime, be working on the stuff on the side that's hard, and, but in the meantime, you can be able to play it now. And check out the description below. I also have a link to the tab to my Patreon account, so you can go there and the tab is free. Uh, just, uh, just go to my Patreon page, I'll put the link below, and just go there and grab the tab. All right, let's get to it. All right, to start the solo, we're gonna put our first finger on the fifth string, the seventh fret. And then, third finger, ninth fret, slide to 11, and then first finger, fourth string, third finger, and then first finger, third string. So it sounds like this. Now you want the first note and the last note to be short. And you just use your right hand to stop the strings. And then your third finger is going to do a little bend. So it's not a full bend. And make sure you have your first and third fingers behind you. You end on the first finger, third string, and then you're going to go down a half step. And then from here, slide down to the sixth fret and put your third finger back on the eighth fret and do another bend. Okay, so that whole thing sounds like this. Okay, a few little notes have vibrato in there. But when you get it up to speed, there's not a lot of time for vibrato, so you'll see. Okay, but those little spots do have a little vibrato. Here. And here, after the bend. Okay? All right, next lick. Notice that we just keep descending. So what he's doing is he's descending down uh, in the pentaton different pentatonic patterns, which we'll go over in the next section of the video when I do the analysis. Okay, but here, just play that note short at the sixth fret, and then pull off to the first finger. So you have, and then you're going to go with your third finger to the fourth string of the sixth fret. So we have, some of those notes are short. Ah, kind of, they're all kind of short. So really to be doing that is you put your pick right back on the string. Also, try to pay attention to the right hand picking. I didn't describe that in the first lick, but I probably should go back and do that. Um, here, down, down, up, down. So I'm using a combination of stopping the strings with my hand and placing the pick back on the string. So watch carefully. The first one, this one I'm doing with my pick. And then that one I'm doing with my hand. Okay, and then let's go back to the first lick and, and look at the right hand. Down, down, up, down, up. Then you're going to go down, up, down, 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 down. A 
I'll do it slowly so you can watch. Okay, now back to the next lick. Now we're on the next part of it. Okay, you're going to go to the fourth string, fourth fret. Put your other fingers behind your third finger and bend in a downwards motion. Now go to your first finger in the second fret. And now pull a pull off, three to one. Go to the fifth string with your third finger and then back to the first finger and then back to the third. So that lick is. And give that last note some vibrato. So let's look at the right hand. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. I'll do it slowly so you can watch. Okay, so, so far we have this. Up to speed a little bit. Okay, now we get to a little flurry of chromatic notes. Chromatic just means half steps away from each other. So we're hammer on. On the sixth string. On the fifth string. And then we're going to go to the fourth string, but we're going to move to the fourth fret. Okay, and then we're going to the third string. Hammer one to three, so we're not doing a chromatic here. But they're all in threes. They're all grouped in threes, if you think of it that way. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's just that the last one, two, three, is not chromatic and then it goes to the second finger second string on the fifth fret so okay all of those are picked down except for the last note that one is picked up so down 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 oops sorry down 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 up second to the last lick here So second string, we're going to bend, whole step, a little vibrato, then first finger, first string. Then third finger, 12th fret, first finger, ninth fret. So that little lick sounds like. And then we're going to go to the third string, 11th fret. We're going to bend it to 13 and then pull off. So we bend release to the uh, first finger on the ninth fret, and then third finger on 11th fret of the fourth string, and then back to the first finger on the third string. I'm going to break this into two parts. So this is the first half. Okay, that's very short. Um, not short enough to give it vibrato because it does go by very fast, but it's kind of a nice place to think of where to cut the solo uh, or to cut this uh, this lick. Okay, now the next half is fourth string, eleventh fret, third finger, pull off to the first finger. Now go to the fifth string. Now go to the first finger and do a hammer on to the third finger and then first finger on the fourth string. So that comes after the. So if you put those two together. faster. Okay, well you see why I think I like to break it here so you can get think of that as separate and then you put them together and it works. Okay, let's check out the right hand picking for this lick.
down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Now to continue, go to the fifth string on the seventh fret, and then third finger is going to slide to the eleventh fret, and then your second finger is going to play the fourth string, tenth fret. And then go back to the third finger on the fifth string and then back to the second finger and give a little vibrato there. Okay, and then we're into the last lick. Go to the eleventh fret and put your third finger flat over the third string and the second string. And then put your other two fingers behind to help you bend in a downwards motion. So you're going to you're going to bend a half step and then come back with your first finger to the ninth fret and you're covering one, two, and three. So you have. And now this time, you're going to the third time, you're going to go bend and release. And now you're just going to go to the third string and bend that and then first finger third, first finger. So all together it sounds like and there we have okay, a little bit of analysis of this piece so it will help you with uh, bringing some of these ideas into your own playing. Okay and then we'll also look at um, some ways to, to practice some of these faster licks and some shortcuts around them if you're not ready to play them yet. So first of all, let's look at the chord changes that the solo is being played over. Um, it's being played in this reggae rhythm, but that's not so important. The rhythm's not as important as the harmony. So we need an E. Okay, and then the next chord is, um, is a G sharp. That is the three chord, but the three chord in a major key is usually minor. So this is functioning as a five chord of the C sharp minor, which comes next. And then we go to a B, and then back to E. Okay, so those are the chords that we're soloing over. The one chord that is out of the key, which is the G sharp, is the one that we're going to have to go out of the major E major pentatonic to get a outside note, okay? But first of all, the pentatonic patterns that we're playing with are the basic box shape that most players know. So fourth finger on E, and then fifth string, one and three, one and three on the fourth string, one and three on the third string, one and four, and then one and four. That's a pentatonic box shape that everybody should know. Okay, then I call that pattern one. And then if we go outside of pattern one to pattern four, then starting on E would be on the fifth string now. So it's really important to know where your, at least where the notes are on your fifth and sixth strings, if not everywhere, but best place to start. Fifth string and sixth string, gotta know your notes. So the E here is gonna be the beginning of our pattern five shape. Two, four, and then one, four, one, four, two, four, two, four. Now these patterns connect, this note, which is at the, the high side of pattern five, is at the low side of pattern one. So we're going to connect those first two notes of the solo. And those notes are all in pattern one, except for this one came from pattern five. And then pattern one, slide. And now we're going to go to a D sharp, which is the five note of a G sharp major chord, which is the next chord that we're going to. There's that note we went to. Okay. Okay, as far as playing goes, there's nothing difficult about that. Okay, okay, now we're going to slide down. Okay, this is taking us down into pattern four. If we go from E now, 
with now we played with our fourth finger in pattern in pattern five we played it with our second finger and played this pattern now we're also connecting our notes again so here we've got the fourth finger on the E and now we're playing four one three one three two four one four and I call this pattern four four connects to five five connects to one one connects to two so it just, it just kind of re revolves okay now we're in the spot of pattern four and we play that note okay we're just playing the pattern four notes then we go down to pattern three. Pattern three starts on this E here on the fourth string. We shift and then and then E right there. Okay, so we made it all the way from pattern one, all the way down to pattern two. Okay, now what he's gonna do, normally the pattern two notes would be, would be those on the fourth, sixth, and the fifth string. Okay, so he's just doing a little chromatic thing. And now he's going, to pattern four. And instead of going here, he's going. Okay, he's doing another chromatic. So chromatic from the pattern um, three notes. And then pattern four. And then we end on the E, which is a tonic note, and that's that's right in pattern four. So again. Now, a lot of people find this one kind of hard. It's like, well, my, my fingers can move fast enough, but then um, I hear people say, my fingers can move fast enough, but it's like I lose control of them. So the best way to gain control of something fast is to work in bursts. So go slow over and over again and then do a burst. Make sure the slow is in control and then burst. And then try that with two strings. Slow, 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 burst. Try it again. Okay, then you're jumping from the second fret to the fourth fret on the next one. So you might go slow, try that a few times till you feel like you get it, and then try a burst. Okay, and then you would put all three of them together. And try a burst. Okay, and then the next one, now you don't want to go one, two, four, which some people have problems because, well, I've been going one, two, four, and they'll say, I've been going one, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, and now all of a sudden I have to just go one, three. So then just practice going one, two, four, one, three. Slowly. And then burst. And then the last one. Okay, another thing to say about this is if you're having a hard time getting this up to tempo, you can, these middle, these middle notes are just chromatic um, passing tones. So, but what's really happening is this. Is, those are the, um, the pentatonic pa notes. So you could do that instead. If you find this too hard, just. you're doing in twos instead of threes. Okay, it works perfectly fine. 
as kind of a workaround until your fingers are fast enough to do what you want them to. Second to the last lick. As I mentioned earlier, the easiest way to learn this is if you work it into two sections. You're back into now pattern one at the top. Worked our all, we worked our way down, and then now we just jump all the way up to kind of the climax of the solo. Okay, try to work those into two halves and then put them together. Now when you get to this note, this is the end of the first half, now try to continue. Okay, and hopefully you can now hear the two sections and that will help you put it together a little bit easier. On the last lick, if you find it difficult to bend the third and the second string together with your third finger and a downwards motion, you can use your third and your fourth finger. I find it a bit clunkier to do this and you're gonna be bending up. What I mean by clunky is that you just have to make sure those two fingers land exactly perfectly. Okay, and it, it's going by it quite a clip, so you have to be very accurate doing that. Um, but to practice doing the, the one finger on two strings, make sure that your second finger and your first finger are on the third string, and that they're both, these, these two fingers only have to pull down the one string, while your third finger, is now covering the third and the second string. And then your first finger is already kind of flat and ready to do, do, and ready to do one, two, three. Release. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and um, just practice and you will get it for sure.